All right guys, so today we are going to be doing the oil filter housing for the Kia Stinger. Now we've had a couple people complain about these not fitting. And I wanna explain why they don't fit, but it's not so much that they don't fit, it's just dissimilar metals. We've got a plastic cap, we've got a metal cap, okay? The plastic cap will screw in pretty easily, but you can even get it cross-threaded, as I've done here. And in cross-threading that, we want to back it up and straighten out. Do you hear that? Let's do that again. Let's cross-thread it again. Say, so we got it. So do that again. Probably won't. Oh, there we go. Okay. So we got our cross-thread, right? So all you got to do is back it up. Get it to line up. And then it will screw right in. Okay? So what we're going to do here, the reason we have the two different, the dissimilar metals is because, well, the aluminum is just going to work better over time because the plastic ones have a tendency to strip. So what has happened is the plastic here over time has heat cycled and the threads have changed a little bit of their contour. The aluminum after it heat cycles a couple times won't have any problems. So let me show you how you go about doing this. So we've got an oil filter housing here chalked up in the vise. Hopefully it's going to stay and not fall out while we're doing this. Got a brand new oil filter. Very first thing I want people to do when they go through and do this, I want you to put the oil filter inside the housing and push it all the way down, make sure it seats. Then I want you to pull it out on the opposite side. I want you to take our billet oil filter housing, I want you to put it in and you get, it's gonna do this. Okay, that's in all the way. So if you just put it in like this, it's gonna be difficult to get lined up. It's gonna be difficult to get lined up and you're gonna end up trying to chase this filter and the filter will put resistance on it, et cetera, et cetera. Push it in all the way and you won't have the resistance there. Now, I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. Hopefully it won't work the first couple of times so I can show you how to fix it. Okay, so, okay, so that's pretty snug. It is currently cross-threaded. It doesn't look like it's cross-threaded, it is. So what you wanna do is you wanna back it up. Did you hear that? Hopefully I don't have to do it again, but now it will screw in by hand. Okay, let's do that again. And I'll have the camera guy zoom in a little bit so you can look at this. You get it cross-threaded. Okay. Take a close look at that. It doesn't look like it's cross-threaded. Okay. Threads look very even all the way around. There is a slight margin in front versus the rear. Okay. In order to fix this, just counter-rotate it until it snaps. Okay. Now it'll screw in all the way by hand. Okay. That is the trick to getting these into a plastic housing. After you have done a couple oil changes, it's went through a couple heat cycles, this thing should thread in just fine every single time. Okay. Now I can get it, I've done this enough time on video and in, in my car, I can, I'm able to tell when it's threaded right. So if you want, the other thing you can do is you can put, so now we're gonna do it with the filter again. So if you want, put it in and then back this up until it snaps. Okay, you'll feel the snap when you're trying to wiggle this back and forth. If you can't get this to start, there. It just takes a little bit of play to get these aluminum threads to adapt to the plastic threads that have been heat cycled so many times. So I'll do it one more time. Again, going to intentionally try to cross thread it. Uh, probably not going to be able to because I've messed around with it enough, but let's try one more. Okay, that's drastically cross thread. If you take a close look at that, you can see how badly it is. Can I show up in the video? Yeah. Okay. So now I'm just going to counter until it pops. Nope, gotta go one more. There we go, now we're lined up. Okay, so some people have asked, what is the torque? 
for putting this cap on. You know what? I don't have a number. I think the factory manual says 12 to 18 foot pounds. Um, guys, snug is about all it's going to take. I've got a nice, great big beater bar here that you can probably just go like once it's here. Once it sets down, the plastic makes contact with the aluminum. I go an eighth of a turn. No, a sixteenth of a turn. It doesn't have to be a lot. Once it goes snug, you don't have the the deflection in the plastic anymore. It's all aluminum. So, oops, like that. It's just a snug, tight fit. With that being said, um, that's about it, guys. This is you know pretty simple. You just got to put your oil filter housing, your billet oil filter housing cap on your Kia Stinger. Thanks for watching.